What's going on with y'all? It's your boy Sean Meach here finna give y'all another Laker review. Last night they uh played the Kings and um the Lakers won ninety nine. The Kings had ninety seven, so they won by uh two points. Uh the Kings had a chance to either tie or win the game with a few seconds left on the clock, but uh A D wound up blocking they uh last shot. So they ain't had no hope. But now so usually uh before I really get into how I feel on the Laker side, I kinda try to shed light on a player from the opposite team. So basically like even if they lose, I'll be like, okay, well this player uh played good against my Lakers, you know what I'm saying? But for the Kings, I ain't like nobody. I felt like ain't nobody stand out. Like I just felt like it was just uh, it was they was just out there just letting LeBron act like he eighteen again. So like I wasn't impressed with nobody. I ain't seen no good defense. I ain't the offense wasn't the best. So far as the Kings, they definitely they already get F because they lost. And they just get triple Fs. But let's get into this first half, though. Let's we can start off with LeBron, though. Man, first half, uh, he was already filling the stat sheet up. He had a couple of threes. Ganga assists already. And then, believe it or not, second quarter, he dunked on somebody. Now, I be hearing people saying, yeah, LeBron washed. LeBron ain't the goal. Yada, 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 yada. But he out here still dunking on people. Out here like he's still 18, 19. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like I'm trying to figure out where the wash part come up. But, hey, keep on thinking he wash. We're going to wash our ass right to the finals. But anyways, um, man, LeBron had a whole uh, uh, gang of uh, offensive rebounds. Like he was doing this, he was doing his thing on uh, the rebound. Like he had missed a shot, shit. He was getting his own goddamn rebound. He wasn't playing. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, uh, I commend LeBron for that. Like he, uh, he actually like was, man, filling that stat sheet up. First half, like he came out with with some fire. But I honestly, I think that's cause uh, you know, AD shoulder, like I said, kind of bruised. So I guess LeBron felt like, all right, well, let me. Make sure we get this W so I can get him, like, you know what I'm saying? Because he, he uh, AD set out the last game, so I I know. And then he came back this game, so I know LeBron, like, well, let me just give him, kind of give him, like, a two-day window period, so I'm going to take the load. Because that's what it's saying, like, when you look at the stack sheet, you're going to be like, yeah, LeBron must have uh, decided he's going to take the load. But he had, um, LeBron had 29 points, 11 assists, and four rebounds, so... That let you know he's out there working. Um, AD had um, 17 points, uh, two assists, and five rebounds. Now, with AD, like I said, <clears throat> excuse me, like I said, with AD, he got a bruised shoulder. He still put up 17, so you feel me? I ain't going to snap on him or get on his back and all like that. He did a good job, you know what I'm saying? So, I just hope his shoulder hurry up and get you know what I'm saying? All the way 100%. So we don't have to, you know, worry about that once playoffs come up. People get to say, oh, AD hurts. So they ain't, you know how people, well, I'm just say social media. How social media do once uh, something happens, they get to trying to uh, bad mouth the players saying this ain't going to happen. This ain't going to happen with the team. You know how they do. But uh, let me see. Uh, KCP. He gave us some um, nice threes uh, towards the end of the game. It kind of led us to, you know, getting the W and all that. So, um, I appreciate um, KCP. Now, one thing I can say is uh, he has 16 points and three assists. If he can give us, like, 21, 22, five assists, that would be perfect. But... Overall, KCP had this might have been out of all the games might have been his best game since the season started. Don't uh, quote me on that, but that 
from my from what I've been seeing, like that was his most solid and put together game this season so far. But we got a lot of basketball to go, so but that was but that was the best I've seen. Uh Kuzma, he had thirteen points, one assist, five rebounds. Um now nah, them numbers right there, like like I said, LeBron took the load last night or whatnot. But at the same time, Kuzma, if he going to be that key piece that the Lakers want him to be, he got to at least get 22, at least 22, 23. If you ain't going to score no high game, at least get like, you know what I'm saying, 19, 20. Like 13, 1, and 5, honestly, uh, that's unacceptable, especially if you – Want this guy to be a piece, you know what I'm saying, of the puzzle. He got to at least put up 18, you know what I'm saying, something. But uh, he, but I can't say he, he knocked down a couple of his threes, so I was happy to see that. Like I said, I just wanted to put up more points, and um, he'd be good to go. Uh, who, 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 else I, who else I wanted to speak on? Uh, oh, yeah, uh... I think his name Caruso. I think I'm saying it right, Caruso. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really like to be uh, speaking on him because I'm still watching him and stuff like that. I'm still trying to see if he's worth even talking about. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. Since uh, the first game, he been making me want to talk about him. That's why I'm talking about him today. But uh, uh, he only he had 10 points, uh, 3 assists. But he was, I just, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of I kinda like the way he played. Like, he played hard, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, today he showed, well, last night he showed me he was a shooter, you know what I'm saying? So I like the fact that he can shoot, you know what I'm saying? He ain't scared, you know what I'm saying? So we need that kind of hard on this team, you feel me? Especially from him. So as far as that, I'm, I'm cool with him. Uh, I just want to. I just want if he do want to be part of this piece, he gonna have to at least get seventeen, uh, and at least five assists. But I ain't gonna force it right now. But yeah, he definitely needs to step it up. And then, and so look, I'm gonna talk about Dwight Howard, and I'm gonna close it out. Uh, but Dwight Howard, he, he killing me, man. Last night was unacceptable. He had seven rebounds and four points. Dwight Howard, them, them uh, rookie stats, who scared shit, of the likes type shit. I don't know, I don't know, he, I don't know, he just probably had an off night or what, but 4.7 rebounds, that's very unacceptable. Them rebounds, need to, the, the rebounds need to at least be at 10, 12. The points need to be at least 10, 12. You know what I'm saying? We need 10, 10. Well, we get 8 to 17, 10, however, we need some double digits over here. That's what I can say. But um, I'm expecting a lot from uh, Dwight Howard and Kuzma next game. And I ain't going to lie, even though AD has 17, AD too. Um, I'm expecting a lot from them next game because I feel like this game that just passed, they didn't really – Either maybe didn't put in all the work or their full potential. Well, like I said, I know I know what AD excuse is, and I know what Kuzma excuse is. But man, right now, ain't no excuses acceptable. So I got to just point it out that just next game, I just want Kuzma to step it up. You know what I'm saying? Give me like 18. I'll take 18, but I prefer like 22. You know what I'm saying? And uh. He got one assist. I he get like three assists. That'd be better. You know what I'm saying? Keep the defense wondering so you can move the ball, open up more shots for everybody. Uh, when you getting the census. Uh oh, I ain't even talk about McGee. But another one, McGee. Uh, McGee had two points, one assist, and seven rebounds. I'm just assuming this must be the uh today was the uh big man. Uh, sick day because ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? They take calling out, saying like, because it's like, feel like ain't nobody put they all into it. This game, I guess they probably knew, like, okay, yeah, this the uh, Kings, we're gonna stump all over them. Um, maybe if that's what it was, or however the case may be, but these numbers is unacceptable. Like, 
The only person that did, you know, it's like like standing out to me is LeBron, and uh, I ain't gonna lie, uh, AD and KCP. You know what I'm saying? So that means everybody else need to step it up. You know what I'm saying? Can't LeBron? Remember how old LeBron is? So he can take the load, but why make him? Because if you preserve him, once the playoffs come, you are gonna get the real LeBron. You are gonna get the LeBron with the crown. You know what I'm saying? So let's just focus on scoring more points and getting the load off of LeBron. You know. And so, uh, basically, uh, and like I said, the next game, I just want to see more from uh, everybody. And um, now, and so now I want to hear what everybody has to say now because the Lakers 10-2, and, and we still got more basketball to go. But anyways, if you uh, hate what I'm saying and you want to talk some shit, hit them comments. You feel me? If you, if you like a fan and you like what I'm saying, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. If you talk shit, hit that dislike button. Shit. All that shit good shit. But this your boy Sean Meach. And I'm getting up out of here. See y'all next game.